These are some of the brands that I've worn over the years that I've found have appropriate fitting t-shirts for shorter guys. That means shorter lengths and an overall clean drape. So let's take a look at some of the best fitting t-shirts for shorter guys. Let's get started. Starting off with Everlane, a fan favorite. They carry staple pieces to fill every guy's wardrobe. Their organic cotton t-shirt dropped about two years back and quality wise, I'd say they're similar to Uniqlo's Supima tees with a similar texture as well. In terms of the fit, the tee drapes cleanly and isn't too loose or too tight. They carry extra small, which is good for shorter gents out there. This one here is extra small. The shoulders hit where they should and the sleeve length is right around mid bicep. The shirt did shrink ever so slightly in the dryer, but I pretty much hang dry these shirts now. The Everlane Organic Cotton Crew Neck Tee currently comes in six essential colors of black, navy, white, heather gray, charcoal, and oatmeal. And they also carry six additional colors as well that are more in line with the current season. Ascot White Tee. So when it comes to quality and sizing, Ascot can't be beat. They carry 15 different size variations from extra small to XL. In short, regular or long fits, which pretty much covers the entire gamut of men out there. Shorter men in particular are in luck with their extra small, short shirt lengths. They're advertised as a straight fit with fitted mid-length sleeves. Overall, the fit on my frame is solid, a bit on the shorter end for me as they did shrink in a dry cycle, which is why I only hang dry this shirt now. As for colors, Ascot carries eight versatile t-shirt colors from white to navy to green, burgundy, and off-white. The tees come in at $45, they're not the cheapest on this list, but when it comes to value, it's one of the best there is. Ashenary Crew Neck Tee. So Ashenary serves a specific demographic of men who are shorter than average height. So this is perfect for guys like me. Standing at 5'6", Ashenary definitely earned a spot in my wardrobe. Their staple crew neck tee is one of the best fitting t-shirts that I have, period. The cotton is pretty soft and it's pre-shrunk and so it's a good idea to get the right size ready to wear. I'd say that the quality is up there with Ascot and Banana Republic's Supima shirts. When I got this black shirt a couple of years back, they only carried a few colors and no white tee, which was odd. But now they carry 15 different colors and so you've definitely got a color to suit the pickiest of tastes. Peter Manning Vintage Crew Neck T-Shirt So Peter Manning is one of the OGs when it comes to clothing catered specifically for short men. Similar to Ash and Aries T-Shirt, Peter Manning's vintage crew neck tee is appropriately fitted for my 5'6 frame, 135 pound frame, off the rack. They offer a mix of versatile colors from basic white, black, charcoal, brighter colors like army green, pale blue, and pale yellow, which is featured here. The t-shirt has got a soft broken in look and feel with a vintage wash. As for how the shirt fits, the shirt's length is perfect. It's around mid fly on me and the shirt sleeves are the proper length hitting around mid bicep. The sleeves also hug my bicep without any loose fabric, which is preferable depending on how you like your tees to fit. Additionally, the shoulders are properly fitted, hitting the corner shoulder bone and the collar sits pretty high and it's not all that restricting around my neck. The shirt is a bit tight, particularly around the arms. There was some minor shrinkage, but there is ample room to breathe around the chest area and through the body. So overall, I think the shirt fits as well as any of the best fitting tees in this roundup. Uniqlo's Supima Cotton Tee. So I reviewed Uniqlo's Supima Tees in the past and it's been at the top of my list when it comes to the best value t-shirts on the market. So way back when they used to be under $10, believe it or not, and they upped the price to $14.90 for the past two years, I believe. And now it looks like the shirts are currently a hair under $20 at $19.90. And so while it's not the value play that it used to be, these shirts are solid as ever and still cheaper than all the other shirts in this roundup. Their shirts fit great for guys 5'8 and under, and even if you're slim and under 5'5, they also carry a double X small, which might be appropriate for you. And so if you want to see more about the Uniqlo Supima tees, I'll put a link up there for you to check out. Ministry of Supply, Composite Merino Active Tee. So Ministry of Supply's Composite Merino Active Tee is currently one of my favorite tees to wear. I like it for its clean and casual drape to the comfort and versatility. 
You know, I personally like the shirt's construction and design as well. It's got this casual, cool, athletic cut. And so they do, they really do combine form and function really well, which is suitable for lounging around while you're exercising or if you go out and about. It not only feels great to wear because of the merino wool, but it looks great too. The clean drape is flowy in appearance and it actually reminds me of Tanny's silk cut shirts. Ministry of Supply recommends to size up for a looser fit, but I don't think that's necessary. I went with my usual X small here and the shirt seamlessly hugs my body while still having a clean drape, allowing for some room to breathe. And so I'd recommend going with your normal size unless you want a really relaxed fit then size up. As you can see, the shirt drapes cleanly on my body. The sleeves wrap comfortably around my bicep and the raglan sleeves accentuate my broader shoulders. Furthermore, the shirt's length is also on point, hitting about mid-fly and mid-butt around the back. The sleeve hits at the mid-bicep and it doesn't scrunch up my armpits as I move either, which is a big plus. Now another Ministry of Supply favorite, the Responsive Tee. So if you like more of a muscle fit with fabric closer fitting to your body, then the Responsive Tee might be what you're looking for. These definitely run smaller than the Responsive Tee. But for me, the responsive tee in X small is an ideal undershirt fit. Had I sized up to a size small, then I could likely rock this as a basic tee. In terms of the fit, it wears quite snug on my body, around the chest, biceps, and midsection. The sleeves hug my bicep nicely, and they're an appropriate length, albeit a tiny bit short, slightly above the mid bicep. The shirt's shoulder area is in bunging up, and it extends out to my right shoulder bone. As for the shirt's length, it's just right, short enough to be worn untucked and long enough to be worn tucked in as an undershirt should be. Overall, the responsive tee is made for performance. It's slim fitting, looks good on guys with a sturdier build. So again, if you wanna rock it as a t-shirt, then size up. Twillery Performance Tee. So the Twillery Performance Tee wears like a workout shirt that you can exercise in but it looks like a basic tee and so it's appropriate to wear for the gym, lounging at home, or when you're out and about. There's a subtle sheen to the fabric and stretch like that of an undershirt. Perhaps the best thing about this shirt besides the near perfect fit is how comfortable and breathable it is. It's definitely a shirt that I'll be wearing plenty of in the warmer spring and hotter summer months. If you're wondering whether or not there's any shrinkage, the performance tee doesn't shrink in the wash or dryer, so don't expect for it to shrink to a more appropriate size after you put it through a cycle. Overall, there's not much to this shirt. It's super basic and does exactly as its name suggests. It's meant for performance, keeping you casual, cool, and comfortable. And now the Twillery Performance Undershirt. So. Although Twillery's performance undershirt is meant to be worn under your garments, it feels and fits more like a t-shirt, which is why I've included it in this roundup of tees. The fabric just feels a little bit more thicker and more substantial than an undershirt, and so it could easily be worn casually as a standalone shirt during a light run or workout or as a moisture wicking base layer worn under an Oxford shirt. You know, talk about versatility. At $24 a shirt, Twillery's undershirt is one of the more affordable shirts in this roundup. Banana Republic Supima Cotton T-shirt. For some reason, almost every shirt I have from Banana Republic, including my polos, have shrunk with exception to the washed Supima pocket tee, which I'm gonna cover next. But this just so happens to be good for me because the shirt has shrunk down to a pretty solid fit. Uh, this one actually is a bit too short for me now. In terms of quality, the BR Supima Cotton Tees rival that of Basket and is about the same thickness as well, which is thicker than most other tees in this roundup. So these shirts have a bit more structure than some of the other tees as well. In addition to their regular sizes, BR also offers taller sizing, which is great for taller guys out there coming in at $30. It's a pretty great value. Now the BR Washed Supima Pocket Tee. So the wash tee is quality stuff. You know, this shirt right here, it's been through countless wash and dry cycles and the wash look is great in my opinion. I think the pocket detail is a nice touch and you'll notice that the shirt has vented size as opposed to a straight hem. The Supima pocket tees are pre-shrunk and so don't expect for these to shrink like virtually every other Banana Republic shirt in existence. The shirt is a little longer and looser fitting than the others in this roundup, but overall, I love the fit on my frame. The Supima pocket tee is coming at $40, which is more than the basic Supima shirts. 
So I'd say that the quality of these shirts is a little bit higher and so it might be worth that additional $10. Thompson T sweatproof t-shirt. The Thompson T is hands down the best t-shirt for those who may suffer from hyperhidrosis or if you just sweat a lot in general. The shirt was huge on me at first, but to my luck it shrunk down to a really good size after a single wash and dry cycle. The shirts come with a proprietary design with padding in the armpit area to stop sweat from showing through. So it feels a little bit weird at first and it does take a little bit of getting used to, but I definitely do feel that protection though. And so these shirts really do work as advertised. Additionally, the shirt's fabric is soft and it's got a premium feel to it. The bottom line, if you want a t-shirt with sweatproof technology that's made in the USA with premium fabrics, then Thompson Tee is certainly worth the look. Under 510 Short Sleeve Henley. So while Under 510 doesn't currently have basic tees, and I'm not sure why they don't, but when they do, you can probably expect for them to fit similar to this short sleeve Henley right here which unfortunately is no longer in stock as well. Nevertheless, the shirt does have a nice fit and drape. The sleeves are the appropriate length and the shirt length is proper as well, which is to be expected since their bread and butter is great fitting clothes for shorter men, just like Peter Manning and Ash and Neri. The quality of the shirts is like their other garments. It's pretty solid, not the best, but not the worst either. Hopefully they can begin stocking basic tees as this is you know, a staple item that it's surprising to me they don't have any in stock right now. Fresh plain tees, short sleeve t-shirt. So if you like for your shirts to fit a little bit longer, say more like a long line tee, then fresh clean tee, short sleeve t-shirts might be for you. They don't carry extra small, so I have the smalls and overall the fit is pretty good, especially with the pocket crew neck tee. It's not too loose, not too tight. The sleeves land around my bin bicep and the shirt length is a bit long, but not as long as their basic crew neck and v-neck tees, which I'll talk about next. The shirt fabric is a mid-weight cotton, leaning towards a lighter material, at least in comparison to many of the other shirts in this roundup. The shirt did shrink a bit in the wash, even though it's advertised as pre-shrunk. For the v-neck tee, it's a 60-40 cotton poly blend, and as mentioned before, runs longer than the pocket tee. It's definitely more like a long line tee, and so if that's more your style, then you'll probably like the fit of these along with the non-pocket tee crew necks as well. And that wraps up this roundup of the best t-shirts for shorter guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead, lightly tap that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos like this weekly. That's all I got for this video. I got another one for you here and right here. So go and check one of those out and cheers to your style and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.